Oh, this is good. Draw my way. It's just three really parts because my fan only cords for certain amendments. So it started. With her. With me. Right? Just don't. Please. It's just me, right? And then my mom had me at the Lewis. Alright. I think you taste that, right? A Lewis hospital. And then I was, well, I was born at the Lewis hospital, and they took, took me home, right? And my parents only cared, only cared about me in that life. Well, they cared about my family and all my other folks, but... They don't care about me because I was a baby. So we had a big, we lived in a big house. Funny story. Funny story. Well, not funny, kind of gross. So, and then, so one time we had this log cabin. I don't know. We had this, like, not wall cabin, but, like, just a house. Like, like, a house in the woods. And one time, my mom, who was at the house at that time, at the house at that time, saw a little fire. She thought... Please don't hit my drone. Let's just pretend that's a chance fight. And she thought she saw a fight, but she thought she was just hallucinating. It was dark. But it was, it, it was sunlight, and then it got dark. So then, but then my mom actually looked closer. And it was an actual fire in our woods. My mom thought someone was trying to kill us. A fire burning down. So my mom was like, oh no. My dad, who was an officer, well, he still is an officer, was like, oh no, too. So he ran, he runs out there tonight, and my mom's calling 911 for the firefighters, and he sees this guy. He is just. Okay, I'm not gonna go too detailed, but he was kind of dead in his brain. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that, but his brain was, um, not in his head. That's all we're gonna say for that guy. Rest in peace. And so, my. Okay, just pretend this is too fish. Sorry. And this the guy. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. The guy who my dad found when like, dead, his brain was out of his body because this is how the story went. So basically, this guy was driving a car. When he was driving, he didn't have a seat belt on him. There was a curve to go around. He didn't turn around, so he just hit it and he flew and dead. So my dad runs out there. My, the firefighters are coming. They're like, "What happened?" They're questioning. They're like, "Okay, how did this happen?" They're like, "What?" Okay, just, I'm just gonna draw to them. Make the video go quicker. And so they're questioning, they're saying, what happened? Do you know what happened? And then they just go. And enough of funny story. When I was a baby, that other story that I just do. So hold up, let me draw real quick. So this one time, when I was a baby, uh, I had this little doll. It was a little, well, it wasn't a doll, it was a plush. And it was a little monkey. And every time you pulled his tail, you see a lullaby. And every time my mom and my mom told me when I was nine, well I'm ten years old now, she she told me a story about me when I was a baby. She told me that I, every time when it was night, she would read me a story. Every time she read me a story, I would bring that plush. And then when I fell asleep, she would pull the tail, I think, and she would just let me sleep. And another time, I was on my mom's bed. 
with a laptop. I just I'm gonna just draw little scribbles like for the apps. And I'm gonna just like <laughs> just type it everything. You mean I was probably opening apps for I don't know how but my mom but my mom says now my parents had to open, close every single thing that I opened and typed. I was like I was probably like <laughs> like and another time we were on the beach. Woohoo, fun beach time. So I was there, and I was just whack, crying. My mom, my mom, my mom, and my dad was there. And we were like, why is he crying? And then they forgot. Hold up. My Binky was at home, and I, that's what I loved at the time. I loved my plush, but the Binky was the only thing that kept me calm. So when I didn't have it, I, I just basically crew. And so we went back, well, we didn't go back home. I think I eventually stopped crying and we went home and got my binky and I was happy. I was like, yay! And, and another thing, i come to a close. This is like story time. But okay, next I'll do Draw My Life Part 2 because I'm doing stories right now. And another time, we, me and my mama have this very sh strange and feel that it's like in our family every time if my mom cooked popcorn me and her would just go to the microwave and just smell it okay uh, if you're wondering what this is this is her glasses because she has them so, okay we're just gonna draw out the grass and pretend that's my mom and that's me so we just we will go to the microwave it will just smell the popcorn it's delicious anyway i think that's gonna end off I love you guys, even though I only have free subs. I love you guys. Might not be a famous YouTuber like Mr. Beast or, you know. But I'm, I'm grateful for what I have. And that's all.